Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. Welcome to Football Life Talks, home of previews, reviews and tactics and many more. So today, in this video, we will discuss all the transfer rumors of Barcelona. So Barcelona's summer transfer window is legit. It's looking very much, uh, you, know, you can say uh, a way it is not looking good. But in a way, if we act smartly, it is looking very good. So let's discuss all the transfer rumors, what Barcelona can sign and which will be the proper players. If you sign them, they will be beneficial in the uh, next season. So let's check. So the first top priority given to the, means the transfer to which top priority is given and it is the top leading transfer news is of Robert Lewandowski. So this news was confirmed by uh, Fabrizio. Our the legend of transfers news and he said that yeah, Lewandowski already had two direct contacts with Xavi and the Barcelona board is wanting him to join this season and uh, he himself wants to join Barcelona so both the parties are looking very much optimistic and they want to continue together in the next season and now Lewandowski is facing something uh, like the German media and even the German fans they are uh, like now they are saying Lewandowski is overrated Lewandowski is like you know what happens when he will leave the club like these things will come out and so that is the thing but you know Lewandowski's transfer will be very good I think so uh, two years or three years he will serve us but that's good uh, to bring us bring ourselves in the European position European quality you know European football quality which we have lacked this year uh, we can Come back to that and Lewandowski has proved himself that he can play in a top level uh, already he almost won it in the 2020 Bollinger uh, and 2021 also he was very close to win that so he's a top class player and see we could not uh, buy Haaland Haaland already went to Man City and uh, probably Mbappe is going to Real Madrid and see these are the top notch transfers which Barcelona cannot uh, buy because as Joel Laporta mentioned we cannot risk our like our our like Barcelona, we're gonna risk Barcelona uh, with these transfers because uh, the financial issue is so much strict in uh, La Liga. So, so yeah, Lewandowski's uh, transfer is looking here we go almost, and it can happen any day, any time. So yeah, this will be a good transfer, and Lewandowski will maybe he will be substituted, or it means he will uh, switch positions with. Aubameyang, like Aubameyang can play in the second half and Lewandowski maybe he will start and Xavi himself said that Lewandowski is so much needed in this team so yeah, so we are having now Lewandowski almost it's done let's see in the final stages maybe it, it, it will not happen but yeah, we will always stay positive and we are going for this transfer so forward position is done we have already discussed the forward position now let's discuss about midfield midfield is looking so much critical yeah Midfield is so much critical. Obviously, Frank Casey is almost done. Frank Casey is done. You can say on a, it's, it's a free transfer to Barcelona uh, from AC Milan. Frank Casey is done, and Frankie De Jong has al already have made a video uh, on that. Barcelona may uh, like may or may not uh, sell uh, Frankie De Jong uh, because they are wanting some money because uh, financial issue of Barcelona is not good now. Uh, after the winter transfer window, we are facing some financial issues. Already the 50 million, 50 to 55 million euros of financial Paris is not paid and we are just facing some issues and maybe Barcelona will sell uh, Frankie de Jong and so we are we have already signed Frank Casey who is a potential replacement for Sergio Busquets but I don't know uh, it may he may uh, like replace Busquets because Busquets, Busquets we cannot replace him he is a top class player and we know how he has uh, proved himself and without Busquets we always suffer we have seen that and our transfer was linked with Carlos Soler of Valencia and that transfer also is looking that it might happen because Valencia are also pushing uh, on the transfer and Barcelona are also willing to sign him but let's see what happens in the final stages maybe Carlos Soler is a good player a goal scoring midfielder and he might be a good signing for Barcelona and now see, Paul Pogba will leave Manchester United. This is the uh, third midfield uh, rumor. Paul Pogba will leave uh, this uh, summer, uh, like in the summer transfer window, uh, for Manchester Manchester United. And he was linked with Manchester City as well. He was um, now he was linked with PSG as well. 
now the uh, the club which is wanting him uh, is juventus and they are i think he is the like it is very much sure that he might join juventus he might go to go back to juventus where he played uh, like i can say the prime moments of his career and paul pogba i think this transfer will a kind of be a flop in barcelona because paul pogba is not kind of player who is fit to play in barcelona he is very good in those uh, you know serie a uh, premier league already premier league he has suffered this season he has not played so great but in Syria he was so dominating with Juventus so he should go there I, I must say and uh, uh, like if PSG want a good midfielder yeah you can go for Paul Pogba PSG can go for Paul Pogba it will be a good signing for them as well so Paul Pogba I don't think this uh, this transfer should happen for Barcelona but let's see what happens Paul Pogba yeah he's not linked with Barcelona but he's available in the market so Barcelona should uh, try or may not try I, I, I will say you should not try for Paul Pogba then coming to the fourth transfer rumor is of Ruben Neves of Wolves and see we are Barcelona are always having a good relationship with Wolves we have done a lot of transfer with Wolves uh, uh, Nelson Samedo then uh, Trinca we brought out Adama Traore so we are having a good relationship with them but I don't know Ruben Neves is a very key player for Wolves and I don't think um, uh, Wolves will uh, uh, like just let away their midfielder go so yeah this transfer is also looking complicated this will not happen for me and yeah this is looking complicated and yeah Ruben Neves is a very good player good with the volleys good with the shots first time shot defensively also is very good but I don't think this transfer will happen and let's jump to the next transfer rumor that is a Bernardo Silva see Bernardo Silva a such a great creative playmaker he can play a false nine he can play in the midfield role wing also he can play so a very great player and a rumor came a long back like they were discussing about a switch of Frankie De Jong with uh, Bernardo Silva with some uh, money because Frankie De Jong is always uh, obviously cost more and but yeah Barcelona are not willing to give away Frankie De Jong for Bernardo Silva who will take uh, some time to adapt at, at this situation yeah Bernardo Silva is a kind of player who can play in this kind of situation but yeah that is not uh, good because Suddenly you are coming from uh, a Premier League uh, play where too much attack is there and you are coming to a La Liga where too, too much position is maintained and yeah that will be some all it obviously he is coming from Pep Guardiola's team that will be a kind of advantage and we are also having a good relationship with Man City so yeah Man City the players who are coming to Barcelona they are playing well like we have seen Ferran Perez he are kind of playing well only and Eric Garcia also already he is playing good not that bad uh, we cannot say he's playing that level best but okay he's managing everything with Barcelona so yeah Bernardo Silva is a good player but with Frankie De Jong and if you are trying to shift uh, Frankie De Jong to Man City and to uh, Bernardo Silva to here yeah, I will not go for this transfer obviously and if it costs money as well yeah with money I will not bring Bernardo Silva we are having good midfield Gavi Pedri is there with Nico Gonzalez our youngster is there Busquets is there Frank Casey already we have signed Frankie De Jong is there so yeah we are not going for more more midfielders but uh, you know one transfer I would like to suggest is of Chaumini Chaumini uh, he is playing in Monaco yeah he is playing in Monaco he is a great player he is a good player defensively he is very good DMA position uh, a kind of anchorman player so that can be the possible replacement of Busquets. He's a good. He is good with passing as well. I have seen some of the gameplays of him, and yeah, he is a good player. And Chaumini is available in the market. I think PSG. But I would like to suggest uh, Chaumini mainly to PSG. Uh, obviously, PSG are lacking uh, that kind of player because uh, Daniel Pereira is not that kind of player, and Verratti also he cannot play as a kind of holding midfielder. And Chaumini is a good player, and Barcelona can try to sign him, but he will also cost so much of money. So yeah financial issues are first to be looked upon then we are we will go for the transfers so for midfield frank is done i would like to sign carlos soler because he will be a good signing for barcelona but see money matters first so i think if that looks complicated we should not go for that and midfield frank de jong should stay for me uh, final yeah final i would say frank de jong have to stay otherwise next season we are going to suffer without him and see ruben neves this transfer uh, Ruben is a good player but I would like to go for Chaumini. Chaumini if he comes to Barcelona uh, that will be a great thing. So three midfielders I have uh, picked up uh, this three could be the potential uh, miss, which I want uh, if I would be a Barca board member and keeping the financial situation 
on to upon my eyes upon and I would, I would look to the financial situation and I would sign these players. Now the defense is also looking uh, great and from the for the defense uh, see we are already we are we were linked with Mazrawi. Mazrawi was linked Minariola uh, had, had talks with Laporta about Mazrawi but Mazrawi you know you know uh, some players are there they don't look upon the you know they don't look upon the project they don't look upon the team they don't look up upon the players they are always looking after money so that's a different story and Mazrawi wants to join Bayern so it's almost a done deal uh, to Bayern uh, Mazrawi so this transfer I'm just cancelling it Mazrawi is not happening with uh, the, the, like the transfer is not happening with Barcelona Next we are going with Christensen, already it's a done deal, Christensen and this Christensen are on a free transfer from Chelsea and, and as confirmed by uh, Thomas Tuchel as well and yeah, Andres Christensen, Christensen is done, uh, till now a final proposal is not given but Andres Christensen to Barcelona is a done deal and we, yeah, he's a good, good player, he's a good player but he makes mistakes, he, have to, he has to uh, like practice uh, with Xavi, like under Xavi he has to practice a lot he had to prove himself that he is also a great, great defender. Yeah. Next, this is the transfer. Not like two transfers are there. I want it to happen. Anyhow, anyhow, Barcelona need to try their level best to get these transfers. First is Caesar Aspilicueta. You know why I'm saying that? See, Sergio Dest has been put, uh, has been given the green light for the transfer, and yeah, Sergio Dest, I think he will, uh, he will be not available next season. So Dani Alves is already old, he may also see if Sergio Dez uh, leaves then Dani Alves like if Sergio Dez stays in Barcelona, Dani Alves have to leave because uh, I had a news like that that uh, he has to leave. So Dani Alves also is old, he cannot start every man but Cesar Aspilicueta is very great player at right back position, center back also he can play, a very great player, very good with the crossing, very good with the shots and such a great leader I must say, a very great leader. He has. Uh, He's been the captain of Chelsea and for many years he's playing in Chelsea. Such a great player and he's Spanish national team also. We have seen how he manages the team properly. So yeah, Cesar Aspilicueta, this is the transfer I want it to happen and anyhow, I want this transfer to happen. Next, see one news came up that Carlos Soler, already I talked about him. Carlos Soler and Jose Gaia were both given to Barcelona for transfer. And see, this, uh, this, this was the news that happened uh, that came up and let's see if this happens or not because Jose Gaia is another left back which we need because Jordi Alba we cannot depend on him on every matches Jordi Alba is also getting old and uh, fatigue situation are always uh, certain and let's see if this will happen or not because we need a, a left back and some uh, other players are Grimaldo yeah they will also link to Barcelona and one youngster is there I think Barcelona will uh, sign in the B team and they will promote but we already have Balde and in the last match against Getafe we have seen how Balde played Balde is playing very good but his crossing is not good he has to improve on that like Jordi Alba is providing the crosses he is very good with the volleys that is very good Jordi Alba is another kind of you know, god level led back but now see everyone have their prime time and everyone uh, like they already they always come to their downgrade and Jordi Alba is in that position and so you cannot blame the players every time because it's always not their fault but yeah Jordi Alba is becoming old and you cannot de uh, depend on him every time uh, already we have depended on him uh, for many seasons he has been playing the left back of Barcelona now we have to find a replacement uh, like not for every matches but uh, for some matches you know Barcelona were not very critical while doing transfers they were not very much see they did not look upon the transfer market properly see PSG have done a great signing a great left back youngster Nuno Mendes and Barcelona could have looked upon that transfer and signed that player. So that is the thing, Barcelona are not good in the transfer in the last 3-4 to four seasons. Uh, uh, from Bartemio after he left also Joan Laporta, is, I don't know what he is doing. But yeah, um, this is the happy thing, they are just playing the money, Bartemio just played with the money and we saw how bad transfers they have done. So we talked about Aspili Quetta, another late back of Chelsea. Like we are just, <laughs> if these transfers happen, we are just like you know. Just we have we have done a raid uh, on Chelsea and we are just getting away all the players of Chelsea. Christensen is done. If Aspilicueta, this transfer happens, this is also done. And next we are looking upon Marcos Alonso. So there was a there was a news that uh, as, uh, Marcos Alonso had uh, some exchange of words, some 
like exchange of words he had almost like a fight with uh, Tuchel and in the dressing room also he's not behaving properly with the coach and the coach also is uh, is like he is not liking the behaviors of uh, Marcos Alonso so Marcos Alonso and he's a Spanish player everyone knows and he also wants to come back to Spain and he wants to play under Barcelona he is also wanting to play under Barcelona so this deal could also be a good replacement for Jordi Alba like Jordi Alba and Marcos Alonso so this is another deal which we can do so guys we have talked about left back right back now coming to the center back position center back position uh, Koulibaly is being linked with Barcelona Koulibaly of Napoli he is a great defender great great player and see this transfer is also looking complicated because 30 million almost 30 million and it's not possible you know every transfer uh, see rumors are always to come okay but the transfers which are very much possible we have already talked about that but yeah Koulibaly uh, deal is a lot looking uh, so much possible because we have Aragó signed a big contract and some other defenders are also there but we need a center back because center backs are lacking we have PK I think next season he will play then he will uh, retire and we have to look at the future of the club as well Aragó is the future Aragó is obviously the future and Barcelona I think they will sell Oscar Mingueza Eric Garcia is the future Eric Garcia is there but he is not performing at that level like Araujo so we need a good good defender and when we last time we are we were linked with Mathias Delict but Mathias Delict obviously this transfer will not happen uh, lots of money is required for that and then we come to uh, let's talk about the present players like Memphis Depay uh, there was a talk that Memphis Depay will be strapped with Lewandowski uh, to Bayern and let's see this deal happens or not because uh, Memphis Depay see he's He's feeling okay, but uh, Xavi also wants Frankie, both Frankie De Jong and Memphis Depay to stay at Barcelona for the next season. But let's see Memphis Depay will change the club or not. And he was all, all uh, once again he was linked with Tottenham as well, but that did not happen. And Bayern, I think Memphis Depay should stay, and you should not see you should not swap players. And Barcelona already they had made a mistake of swapping players with Arthur and Pjanic, and then we saw what happened. Pjanic uh, almost stayed in the base the whole season then he went to basic task and now he's on loan and Barcelona should sell, sell that player just don't give it a loan sell that player you'll get some money uh, some uh, 8 to 10 million you can ask for that and yeah that, that, that's the thing and then Adama Traore I think he will not uh, renew because Barcelona uh, they are not possible to buy out Adama Traore of 40 million almost needed uh, for Adama Traore almost 40 million yeah almost 40 million is required for Adama Traore and that that is another uh, that should not happen we should instead we should bring back team Trincao Trincao Alex Colado the both left uh, left legged uh, right wing so that will be very much beneficial and instead of that we could avoid the transfer of Rafinha also then well as well we let's talk about Rafinha and Osman Demir's contract is uh, see they are almost negotiating and still no final stages you know they are in the final stages not in the final stages as well they have not come to an agreement and Usman Dembele is linked with Bayern Usman Dembele is linked with Manchester United Usman Dembele is linked with Newcastle Usman Dembele is linked with PSG PSG will, want, uh, will obviously go for Usman Dembele because he's a French player as well and uh, like a playmaker like Mbappe who uh, takes on the ball and he's good in shooting as well so they will want a player and Usman Dembele is playing at a prime moment now and every club have their eye on Usman Dembele now so let's see what Barcelona will do with Osman Dembele but if Osman Dembele's contract is not renewed then I think Barcelona will go for uh, Rafinha Barcelona can go for Rafinha 25 million almost required uh, it's a very low cost because uh, before it was said that 70 million almost required the release clause of 70 million but uh, the recent report said it's only less than uh, 25 million almost it's 25 million so guys these are the, all the transfers all the rumors i have discussed maybe i have missed one or two but okay these are the rumors as obviously and let's see what barcelona will uh, do the lineup next uh, season and hope barcelona will have a good preseason they will train well they will have a good game plan they will keep the hold of the league in the first stages of the season and yeah next 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 season champions league also we are we have to do a great uh, great great comeback to the champions league because we are in a recent run out, run out of form we are playing the Europa League and Barcelona is not the team who plays in the Europa League and yeah Frankfurt won the Europa League so a big congratulations to Frankfurt obviously uh, they defeated Barcelona now we can say the winner of Europa League defeated Barcelona but Barcelona 
See, we have to do a comeback. We are another level team. We have seen the Gloria Barcelona. We have to bring that again back. Vizcal Barça, Vizcal Catalonia. Love this club. Yeah, let's go. Thank you.